All right, so you clicked on that thumbnail. Guess you, you, you clicked on it. So that means that you wanna know how to make this. Bing! <laughs> My own sound effect. So keep on watching. my channel it's Ashley here and if you are new hey girl hey make sure you click on that subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always be up to date with my latest tutorials okay so today in this video honestly I think this video is the uh, easiest DIY that I have ever done on my channel I'm so serious I really think it is um, it is not not much that you need to do to this um, to get it done and if you need last minute decor ideas or something like that or you're still decorating this is like perfect for you to like do really quickly and like hang it up sit it up whatever you want to do with them you can do them as gifts whatever like the possibilities with this are endless and I really think you guys are gonna like it why in the world am I <laughs> I just feel like moving my hands today I always do in my video but today it's just excessive so this is gonna be like really, really easy for y'all to do and I think you're really gonna enjoy it and you're gonna thank me at the end of this video on how cute these are and how easy they are to do. So with that being said, let's get started. The main materials you're gonna need for this project are bells and two eight by eight wood plaques. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start to stain these plaques. Now you don't have to stain them. You can use um, paint to paint these, but I'm gonna stain using my Weathered Oak first and then Dark Walnut. Now I picked these plaques up from Michaels and I used a coupon, so I paid about maybe $1.50 for each. Okay, so after you have your wood stained and it is dried, now it is time to start adding your bells. For my first plaque, I'm going to do my snowflake. Now you can do a snowflake, a snowman, you can write out a word, whatever you wanna do, uh, but you're just going to start to place those onto your wood plaques. I'm gonna be using my glue gun, but I do recommend using E6000 as well, just to make sure that you're gonna have a very strong bond. Okay, so once you're finished with your design, it's time to start taking away those glue flyaways and you can use your fingers to do this. You can also use a rag to remove it and also any razor blade that you may have. Now you can choose to keep your bells silver if you would like, but I'm just gonna start to dab a little bit of the white chalk paint on top of these. Now I'm just gonna take my scrub brush and I'm gonna do a heavy distressing on top. To make this frame a little bit different than my other frame that I'm gonna be doing, I'm just going to use that same chalk paint and I'm going to paint my sides and then I'm gonna take the same scrub brush and I'm gonna to start to do a heavy distress on the outside as well. All right, so for my second plaque, I am going to be making a Christmas tree and I'm just gonna dump all my bells out and now I'm gonna take my hands and I'm actually gonna just shape a triangle to actually create that tree. You don't have to do it this way and you can do the lines of um, the bells if you would like, but this way is just a little bit easier and now I'm just gonna take my glue gun and start to add my glue.
Okay, so I'm going to take that same chalk paint and instead of dabbing the bells like I did on the snowflake, I'm actually going to paint the Christmas tree and I'm going to do about two coats. And I'm not going to paint the sides of the bells. I'm just going to paint the top and then you'll be all finished. So that's the end of the tutorial and <laughs> every time I say that word, it sounds so weird. Real. Okay, so we've made it to the end. You've made it to the end. And if you've made it to the end of this video, good for you. What is that? I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm doing a giveaway right now. And that giveaway is going to be bam and bam. So if you've seen this DIY, you already know about it. But if not, and you want to know how to make these for yourself, I will have it linked up here. And I will have it linked down below. And you can check this out. But I am gonna be doing a giveaway for this. So if you wanna have the chance to win both of these things that you can either give to somebody or you can keep them as yourself. <laughs> or you can keep them for yourself. Make sure that you are commenting down below and letting me know what you think about this tutorial and what you're gonna do with these maybe, I don't know. Or just honestly, just leave a car emoji. So leave a car emoji down if you wanna be entered into this as well. This is going to be going on until the end of this week and I will be picking the winner um, for this, the end of the week, so you will know about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye. Thank you.